Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to my sixth channel. Now, I'm, today's video is going to be a different type of video. I haven't done these in a while, but it's going to be a movie review. I just saw Scoob. I just literally finished watching the movie. And I expected a bad film because everyone was saying this movie's stupid. Don't watch it. You'll hate it. I finished the movie just now. And I freaking enjoyed it. It was great. I mean, it's better than Scooby-Doo on Zombie Island 2. It's a lot better than that movie. Scooby-Doo, I mean, Scoob 2020 is an amazing movie. It had emotional scenes when Scooby and Shaggy split up in that. It had some great characters, some of Warner Bros. biggest IPs like Dynamite and Blue Falcon. Well, Blue Falcon's, I think, son. I remember, yeah, it was his son. It's a great film. So the plot of the film is that Scooby and Shaggy run into Blue Falcon. And then they have to stop Dick Daxter B. Wait, is that his name? Dick Daxley or something? Yeah. They had to stop him. I'm not going to give spoilers in this video. I'm just going to say, check it out. My favorite scene in the movie was actually how Scooby and Shaggy met. So, there was, you've seen in the trailer, Scooby was getting a chased by a cop or something. And he ran into Shaggy. And Shaggy was like, Scooby? Ill name? Doobie? Last name, do. I like it. I don't care what any of the reviews are. Screw those reviews. Check it out. Check it out. You will enjoy this movie if you love Scooby-Doo. So yeah, guys. That was my review on Scoob. Actually, it's more of my thoughts. Now I have a whole new lot of stuff for my Scooby-Doo collection. I mean, Scooby is better than this movie. Remember this monstrosity? So yeah, I recommend check it out. Oh, and I also do got some Scoob 2020 action figures. I got Scooby and Captain Caveman. I got Dino Mutt. Got Scooby and I got Blue Falcon's son, which is named Ryan. So, yeah. 